Welcome to the next lesson which talks about the spacing between interchanges. Spacing between interchanges. How far should you space the different interchanges? And uh, this is a value that it's very good to have this off head. And as you as you work towards, if you're someone who's learning how to design interchanges, it's very important to know this off head. It's something that people always keep asking you. Well, how far should they be? Or what can we do in this case? Can't we have an interchange in this area? This, this is something that has happened to me countless times. People are asking me, <clears throat> can't we put an interchange between these two interchanges? What's the minimum spacing? What's the weaving? Okay, <clears throat> so interchange spacing. You find that uh, where interchanges are, pull, are spaced further apart, let's say on freeways, the normally the minimum desirable distance is you want to ensure that in an urban area they're three kilometers apart. This is roughly around two miles. Okay, so desirably try and have them three kilometers apart in urban areas, six kilometers in suburban or peri urban. Uh, depending on where you're coming from, that's four miles. And finally, you want to have them at 12 kilometers in rural areas, you know, but you're going to find that there are cases where this doesn't work. So then that's when you go to the case of the minimum distance. So the minimum distance normally in urban areas should not be less than 1.5 kilometers or one mile, okay? And this is something I abide by. So I always try and ensure my interchanges are spaced at least at 1.5 kilometers. And then in suburban, suburban areas, three kilometers, and then in rural areas, five kilometers. I normally go for seven kilometers. The 12 kilometers is too long. <laughs> I find that that will be an extraction corridor rather than a value corridor. Okay? So try and keep them like this. Now, there are some areas in an urban, I've had three projects we have worked on, and we find that you have to have the interchanges less than 1.5 kilometers. And when this happens, we need to use connector distributor roads, okay? These are to ensure that people are weaving on and off, that's ensured, okay? So make sure you are aware of this. Just to summarize, there's a table I put for you here that's showing uh, the minimum spacing is three kilometers in urban six and then 12, and then the absolute minimum is 1.5, three kilometers and then five, and anything less than 1.5 kilometers, you need to use CD roads. So thanks so much for attending this lesson. I hope you have a very good understanding of how far you should space the interchanges on your expressways. Hope to see you in the next lesson.